In today's video, we are going to do my empties for the month of September, my low buy, and some declutter items. Let's get into it. Hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here. Starting off with my empties. I used this Biolage all-in-one multi-benefit spray with coconut for my hair. I have I started using this in January in a panning project, my Beauty A to Z panning project, and it took me nine months <laughs> to use it because as you can see I don't have a whole lot going on. I don't do a lot with my hair. I want to, but ain't nobody got time. I had to put this in my shower and use it. I used it as I was getting out of the shower. I would spray it on and put the towel on. And I did enjoy it, um, but I wouldn't repurchase. Next is a little shampoo, not a shampoo. It is a perfume sample, and I used up quite a few of these. It's the Carolina Herrera. Very good girl. Just a little bitty sample. I enjoyed it. I possibly would purchase if it were deeply discounted, but it's not in my top. I gotta have it fragrances. I used up this little mini Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It... Where did this come from? I don't know if it came in a little mystery box that I bought from them. It smells so good. Or if it came in a boxy charm, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, I used it it was okay. The full size of this is like a hundred bucks. I would not buy it. Not at all. Because this did not play well with many of my skincare products. It made things pill and so yeah, no, not a fan. ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara in Black. I had this in a drawer and was trying to use up some of my older things and pulled that out and used it up along with my e.l.f. Lash and Roll. I got that used up too. I do like the wand on that. that that was a nice mascara. I'm not sure if they still make that. I used up this Espa Geranium and Pettigrain Hand Balm, <laughs> as you can see. I do not like these types of packaging. I have paint that comes in these pack these metal tubes and I hate them. I don't know if you can see. See where it's broke? When you manipulate this too much, they break. See? But they're metal. And yeah, I don't like them. I mean, the, the balm, the hand cream, hand balm was very nice. I really enjoyed the fragrance that this had. I don't know that I would go out of my way to buy it, and definitely not in this type of packaging. Another fragrance is this Floral Street London Poppy. I bought this little fragrance set from Sephora. I think it was Sephora. And I enjoyed it, but it was not, it's not something that I would go out of my way to purchase. Gerlach Cranberry Sugar Facial Scrub was odd, like it had seeds in it. <laughs> and, I mean, it was okay. Uh, definitely not something 
that I would repurchase. I think I got this in a subscription box. Hermes Twilly Perfume is now at the very top of my wish list. And it's pricey, y'all. It's pricey. But oh my goodness, it smells phenomenal. And yeah, I want it. That's the bad thing about those little bitty perfume samples. Sometimes they can cost you a lot of money. I finished a Juvia's Place lip balm. This is Nourishing Lip Balm in Passion Fruit Nail. It's full of lip balm, but you can see the color from the passion fruit. But I repurposed it because I have lip balm. I'll show you. In this, and I love this lip balm, this Burt's Bees Orange Blossom and Pistachio lip butter is phenomenal. But I don't like it in here. I like Tubi. So I melted it and put it in here and it works perfect. But I used up all of the Juvia's. I also used up this Keys Soul Care Lip Balm in Lucid, which is just a clear balm. And I did not dig it out. I might melt down some more of the Burt's Bees and repurpose this one as well. The e.l.f. Brown Sugar Exfoliating Lip Scrub is all gone. And I have decided that I will no longer be using lip scrubs because I don't like how rough they are. They're very rough on your lips. And I feel like that there is a better way to exfoliate without these very rough. So yeah, I would definitely not repurpose, repurchase. I might repurpose, but not repurchase that. I have a jar of Manuka Relief Ultra Soothing Cream, which is for like psoriasis and severely dry skin. This is real Manuka honey with added colloidal oatmeal. It's for eczema, psoriasis, and shingles relief, and it works phenomenal. This little bitty jar was like $29, I think. Now, it is closer to like $35, I'm not sure, but I got it on Amazon, and it works really, really well. I have um, First Aid Beauty Collodial Oatmeal cream that I use that works just as well and it's not quite as expensive so I would not repurchase that. I finished this Paracone MD Hypoallergenic CBD Sensitive Skin Therapy Soothing and Hydrating Eye Cream and I really enjoyed this eye cream a lot but it is a whopping $125 and Leanne is not paying $125 for this little jar of eye cream. I got it in a subscription box. Pixie Skin Treats T-Zone Peel Off Mask little sample in my Turn and Burn Project Pan. I finished that. It was okay. I would not repurchase it, but it was okay. I enjoyed it. Another mascara. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. And mm, it was okay. Not crazy about that. Very odd brush. 
I would definitely not repurchase. I do like Tarte products, but I wasn't crazy about that mascara. And the last empty that I have is this Versace Dylan Blue perfume sample that was very nice. Not a fragrance that I would necessarily go out of my way to purchase, but I did enjoy it. For my declutter in my That's Expensive project pan, I had this Grown Alchemist, which is a anti-pollution primer. And you can see my lines as to how much of this I have used. I used that much of it. And I just don't like it. I don't like it. It's an expensive product. It came in a subscription box, but I do not like it and I'm not going to continue to use things that I don't enjoy. So this is going in the trash. In one of my panning projects, I was trying to use this Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer. It is a tinted lip shimmer and I just do not like the shade. It does not look good on me. It washes me out. I just, I don't like it. So this as well is going in the trash. I have this little Pat McGrath Labs Eye Ecstasy Sublime eyeshadow palette that I put in a panning project. It was in the Better Together panning project. And I did use these shades and I'm just not a fan. I don't like them. I don't like the color story. I mean, they're okay, but they're just okay. They're not anything super special. And so I am going to declutter. Y'all, I only made one purchase in the month of September. And it was a big one. However, <laughs> I had points on my Discover credit card, I had like $93 in points. And so I used those to purchase this Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 6 Freedom Palette. And I had, I had no intention of buying this palette. And then one of my favorite creators here on YouTube did a whole video about it, and that was the end of that. And I will link that video down below because she's amazing. So, and let me show you how this thing came. So it came in this box. In three bubble bags. And the box another box in the bubble bags wrapped up in this. <laughs> it was very, very, very well packaged and it is covered in which I haven't taken off because I was waiting and it has styrofoam on the inside. I have never seen anything packaged so well, but I mean, this palette was $113. I didn't pay that for it. And more styrofoam on the inside, along with the shade saver. And then here's the palette. I mean, seriously. How beautiful is this palette? It is gorgeous. So this is my only purchase. And so what is that? 
20 bucks, 93, 113. With my points, I got this palette for 20 bucks. Okay, so for the month of September, I finished 17 items with a monetary value of $362.19, which brings my total so far for 2024 to $2,834.08. So I will definitely be hitting the $3,000 mark, which is super exciting. So now I'm like, can I push and do four? I doubt it, but it's fun to think about. <laughs> so we'll see how much I get done for the month of October. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this empties video, I will put a whole playlist here so that you can go watch the other months that I have done for this year. I'll see y'all in my next video. Okay. Love you. Bye.